Welcome to AZ Superbox. In this video, we're excited to present the top 5 best Pioneer single DIN car stereo head units. If you're looking to upgrade your car's audio system with a powerful and feature-rich single DIN head unit, these Pioneer units are perfect for you. Pioneer is renowned for its high-quality car audio products, and these single DIN head units are no exception. Each unit on our list comes with advanced audio technologies, intuitive controls, and seamless connectivity options, providing an enhanced in-car entertainment experience. With these Pioneer Singleton head units, you can enjoy crystal clear sound, access your favorite music and radio stations, and even integrate your smartphone for hands-free calling and music streaming. We've carefully selected these head units based on their audio performance, display quality, ease of use, and overall user satisfaction. Each unit is designed to fit seamlessly into your car's dashboard, adding a touch of modern technology to your driving experience. For detailed information about the top 5 best Pioneer single DIN car stereo head units we discuss, check the descriptions below this video. You'll find links to these head units, where you can find pricing and further details. If you're looking for a more comprehensive comparison, visit our website azsuperbox.com. Our website offers in-depth reviews and valuable insights to help you make an informed decision when selecting the perfect Pioneer Singleton Car Stereo Head Unit for your specific car model. So, without further ado, let's dive into the world of the top 5 best Pioneer Singleton Car Stereo Head Units and upgrade your car audio to a whole new level. Don't forget to check the descriptions for links to the head units we discuss. And if you find this video helpful, be sure to press that subscribe button to stay updated with our latest content. We appreciate your support and look forward to bringing you more valuable car audio reviews and recommendations. This is Pioneer's SPH-10BT. The SPH-10BT is a one-din, AM-FM smartphone in-dash receiver with an integrated phone cradle. It also has Bluetooth for both hands-free calling and wireless streaming audio. The Bluetooth system is designed to work with your Android phone and your iPhone. It can play back MP3 and FLAC music from a USB flash drive, and the USB can be used to charge your phone. The Pioneer SPH-10BT is designed from the ground up to work with the Pioneer Smart Sync app. The Smart Sync app brings maps, messages, and music together in your vehicle. Let's take a look and see what's in the box. Okay. First up here is the wire harness, and we'll use the wire harness here to uh, connect power and ground and speakers, all of the electrical connections from the in-dash receiver to the vehicle. Next up, we have uh, some one-din radio removal tools and some install screws. There we go. Next, we have the Bluetooth microphone. Now, the Bluetooth microphone here comes on a wire about 10 feet long or so for a very flexible installation. And we have uh, a carry case for the detachable face. Let me open the flap here. And we have the, uh, the quick start guide. Be sure to download a complete copy of the owner's manual in PDF form right onto your smartphone from pioneerelectronics.com. And finally, we have the warranty card. And let's pull the receiver up out of here. There we go. The front panel of the SPH-10BT is designed to work with the Pioneer Smart Sync app and starts off with the volume control up and down right here. Next, you can cycle through your available music sources from your phone and the in-dash receiver with the music source button here. Here is the USB port to charge your phone or playback music through a USB flash drive. This is the app voice recognition button. And you can use this button to launch your favorite navigation app from your phone. Up here is the phone cradle, and I'll show you more detail about the phone cradle in just a moment. Here is the display area. Text is displayed here, and when you're connected to your phone with the Pioneer Smart Sync app, the display area here is illuminated. You can access your messages here. You can make and receive phone calls here. The home button is here. It's used to launch phone applications. 
Please note, the SPH-10BT does not play CDs. And of course, detachable face security. I recommend to have the foam cradle buttoned up inside the SPH-10BT in order to remove the detachable face. To operate the smartphone cradle, we'll start by removing the detachable face. Now, pull the cradle straight out until the cradle hinge is completely visible. You can see that here. The phone cradle can be adjusted a little further out or a little further back toward the in-dash receiver. Whatever works best for you in your vehicle. Next, flip the phone cradle up into the vertical position and reattach the detachable face. The smartphone cradle integrated into the Pioneer SPH-10BT is designed to handle many different phone sizes and shapes and is adjustable from 2.28 inches to 6.69 inches in height, 2.28 inches to 3.42 inches in width, and a depth from 0.15 inches to 0.39 inches. The recommended weight load that the cradle can hold is a half pound or less. The smartphone cradle arms are designed to handle many different types of phone cases and still hold the phone very firmly. You may need to adjust the position of the lower arms to accommodate the side button positions on your particular phone. And in some cases, it may work better to mount your phone upside down in the cradle. To attach your phone, start by putting the top of your phone under the upper cradle arm. Next, gently push up on the upper arm until you can slide the phone in place with the lower arms. The upper arm operates on an internal spring to hold the phone very firmly in place. The Pioneer Smart Sync app can operate in both a horizontal and vertical position. To remove your phone from the cradle, gently push the phone up against the upper cradle arm until the phone can swing free from the lower arms. If you want, it's okay to leave the phone cradle in this open position when you leave your vehicle. However, if you want to close up the cradle, I recommend to detach the face and then close up the cradle. On the back panel of the SPH-10BT, the AM-FM antenna from the vehicle will plug in right here. This small black port is for the optional NDPS-1 parking sensor kit from Pioneer. The NDPS-1 is designed to operate with the SPH-10BT and with the Pioneer Smart Sync app. The wire harness with its speaker outputs and other electrical connections to the vehicle will plug in right here. On the other side, we'll start off with two black jacks. The one on top is where you'll plug in the Bluetooth microphone included with the SPH-10BT. And the one on the bottom is for operating your steering wheel controls through a third-party adapter. And here are two sets of RCA outputs for operating external amplifiers. They are 2-volt outputs and can be set up as front and rear output or as front and subwoofer output. <laughs> The Pioneer DEHS 1200UB comes with a wireless remote control that gives you op, uh, the ability to operate nearly every function of the in-dash receiver from the wireless remote. Before you get started with remote control, be sure to pull this plastic tab out of the battery compartment. If you ever have trouble with remote control, be sure to check the battery compartment to see if you need a new battery. Now this is an infrared type of remote control. That means you have to point it at the in-dash receiver to make it operate, and you can operate nearly every function of the in-dash receiver with it. You can get into the audio menu and move through the audio menu. You can get into the function menu, change sources, and change the volume. and mute the system.